a PowerPoint project, just one of the issues at the center of a federal lawsuit against the Northeast Philadelphia School and the Archdiocese. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. Parents say that video by their son resulted in a visit from federal agents, and they claim it was the final straw as they were forced to pull all of their children out of school. Eyewitness News reporter Joe Holen spoke with them and their lawyer today. Syed Nakvi is a brilliant young man. His mother and father will tell you they're proud of his many academic awards. He enjoyed his time at St. Dominic Parish School. Always want to be there every single day. A defining moment for the 16 year old happened in seventh grade on the heels of the 2015 terrorist attack in San Bernardino, where 14 people were killed. Syed says classmates began calling him ISIS. Why would they call you that? It's I'm pretty sure it's because of I'm brown and I'm from the Middle East. Syed is Asian and Pakistani, and he shared the same first name with the gunman in that deadly massacre. I felt different because of this. The Nakvi family has filed a federal race discrimination lawsuit against St. Dominic School and the Philadelphia Archdiocese based largely on what happened next. It was my first time I had to do this like stop motion presentation on the PowerPoint, so may have looked awkward or weird. Or to some at St. Dominic, including former principal Kathleen Bruce, the animation smelled of something much worse. According to the lawsuit, it was violent, possibly even terrorism. Was it terrorism? No, it was not. I had no thought of terrorism or a single single blink of that. The project called a tour of Philadelphia featured a sports car doing donuts outside the school. There was Philly Jesus, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Ice Cube and Rocky. A spaceship is seen blowing up a car. Syed was suspended for a week and the lawsuit claims Principal Bruce contacted the FBI. Nailima Van Gori represents the Nakvi family. And I remember I saw it for the first time and I couldn't believe that that is what all this fuss and stink was about. Shocked and embarrassed, federal agents visited the family of seven. Two of their agents, agents came to my home, tell me how awesome my presentation was and they liked it. But the Nakvis were forced to withdraw from St. Dominic under a cloud of suspicion and shame. And live outside our diocese and headquarters here in Center City, the lawsuit also claims that the school teachers and principal never addressed the name calling, even though parents, the Nakvi family and their son made numerous complaints. Now, the archdiocese has declined to comment pending its uh, policy not to comment on the litigation. We also reached out to principal Kathleen Bruce. She did not get back to us reporting live in Center City, Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.